Here we are at part 7 of my video walkthrough for Final Fantasy 2. And we have just returned to the town of Altair after obtaining the mythical Metal Mithril. <clears throat> Alright. If we uh, head up and talk to Hilda, let her know what's going on here, uh, she will give us the new keyword Dreadnought. Now, um, we find out that the Dreadnought's being built in the east in the town of Basque. They've almost got it completed. So uh, now that the soldiers got some good weapons, we need to uh, go and do something about this big nasty weapon that they got here. We can go up and uh, talk to Gordon if you'd like. He's got new stuff to say every time we get different missions and things and whatnot. But our primary thing is we need to go talk to the blacksmith who is in the weapon shop here. It's Tobol. If we uh, go to our items list and give him the mithril, then he will make mithril weapons and armor. All right. Which uh, this adds an extra person to the the weapon and armor shop in this town, and also the weapon armor shop in the town of Palm and Poft, since um, you can only have four items. A vendor can only sell four things, so uh, they needed a second vendor to sell like mithril axes and things like that. But all that stuff is like way expensive. We like don't even aren't even close to having the money for that stuff right now. So I opt to just go ahead and move on here to our second mission, and that is to try and stop the Dreadnought before it has time to take off. Which, since uh, Basque is east of Poft, we need to get back on our little uh, ferry ourselves another ride from Palom here. Wee! I like riding the boat. It's fun. 32 gil ain't too bad. Alright. We need to head uh, east of here to get to the town of Basque. So uh, let's just do that. It's around the other side of these mountains. So if you just follow the mountains around, you'll be alright. You can see the dreadnought there. And here we go. Now there, um, there's Imperial soldiers running around in this town, so uh, be careful. Don't talk to them. They'll kill you, just like they would in Finn. Here in the center is Borgen, that dude that made that traded. He's a traitor. But we can't do anything about that right now. If we uh, head up into the armor shop here, we can see that they have a new armor which is uh, good for us. It's the silver plate. It's uh, just as good as the mithril mail, but it uh, doesn't cost quite as much. So, Whenever I get the money, I'll go and pick that up later. We have a more important pur purchase. Uh, if we go over to the spell shop here, we need to buy the spell of Isunia. This gets rid of permanent status ailments, such as poison and darkness and petrification and whatnot and whatnot. It's very, very, very useful. One of those that we just we just gotta get. And if you manage to get Asunya all the way up to level 16, it'll resurrect the dead. Ooh, isn't that cool? But uh, this guy over here is our spy. If we talk, give him the keywords Wild Rose and Dreadnought, then uh, he will slip out of the way here so that we can head into the sewers. And uh, these sewers connect over to the Dreadnought. So this is our secret way to get over to it. Alright. Got a long sword in this first chest here. So it uh, gives Frying All uh, two long swords. Improving his damage a little bit there. <coughs> Let's go ahead and move on here. I'm trying to remember which way I needed to go. Here in this chest is a longbow. 
All right. Nobody's a bow user, but if somebody were, there'd be an upgrade for them. Of course, I probably would have already bought a longbow by now if I have a bow user. Ooh, it's a fight. Zombies! Oh no, there's undead in this game. I hate the undead. Well, that wasn't too bad, fortunately. Ooh, alright, shell magic's up a level. I think that puts my shell spell at level 3. Go ahead and start a move blink up to high priority, put life as second. Yeah, you need to uh, get your life spell up. Even It doesn't necessarily restore that many more hit points, but it increases the success that it will happen in battle. Which, um, so, I like to get it up a few levels at least. And there's the Dark Knight! Oh no! So the Dark Knight was here all along, he didn't really leave. And they just got done with the Dreadnought, it's taking off! Oh no, we were too late! Why are we always too late? Well, boo. Well, we weren't able to stop the Dreadnought, so I guess we need to uh, go ahead and head back to Altair. But first, don't forget to stop by this room on the side here and pick up the pass. This will give us permission to get onto the Dreadnought. In case that ever comes up that we need to, you know, board it sometime. So uh, let's just go ahead and work our ways out of the sewers here. Oh, a fight! Ah, it's a lot of enemies. All right, Minju doesn't suck so bad. <laughs> It doesn't look like these enemies can do any damage to us. Damn, go Gus. Yeah, sometimes the random fights are a little boring in this game, but eh. Yeah, these guys have like six hit points, and I'm doing like 120 damage to them. <laughs> It's kind of kind of ridiculous. Ooh, all right, blink up, hit level two. We'll get all his spells up here in a minute. Um, Frynal gets just about all the spells that I'm I ever teach him like right off the bat. Whereas Maria has to wait a while before she'll get all hers, but it's just the way it works. Ooh, it's another fight with eight enemies again. Oh, well, we like just got done doing this or something. Except there's a couple of hornets. If you notice, I generally have them attack like particular enemies. Just get used to inputting the commands like that. Ooh, 110. We got a crit that time. All right, fire hit level two. Sweet. Alright, enough playing around. Let's just uh, go ahead and work our way out of here. <laughs> 